Welcome back to the garage. Pardon my Martha Stewart hat. It's a little bit different of a video today. I know in my channel description I've had on there for the longest time junkyard exploration. I haven't ever had a video on exploring a junkyard, so today I figured that would change. The owner has allowed me to come out here and look around and just kind of see what I can find. I know there's some older stuff sitting around here, so today the video will be about scouting my local junkyard and trying to find some hidden gems. Now sorry for the quality of the video. It might not be the best. I've got my phone out here just for the simple fact that I forgot to plug my GoPro in last night and uh, doing the best I can with the phone. But here's another gem that I ran across. Look at this old GMC road tractor sitting down in here. Don't know what year this is. Uh, my dad actually has one of these, this same body style, sitting on a chunk of property. I might do a video on it one of these days. I think this has a gas engine in it. Yep, it's got the old V6 in there. This truck looks fairly complete, really. It's got the radiator out of it, obviously. Somebody probably came down here and helped herself to that. Old truck's got hydraulic brakes on it door won't open let's see what's in there for a transmission just an old regular five speed trucks pretty much stripped inside old Dodge Club cab seen better days here's this other old late 60s international single axle truck I would assume it's got hydraulic brakes on it the hood stuck shut I've already tried it you can see that it's probably a 345 sitting down in there old truck's been sitting here so long let me show you Got a nice big old tree growing up right behind the cab but this one believe it or not the bottom of the cab does not seem like it's uh, rusted out very badly now these internationals I guess they never did really rust proof them from the factory that much so a lot of the times you see them they're completely rusted out. Somebody had done some fancy uh, mirror repair on there with a nice chunk of rebar. Got an old Dodge Dually sitting over here. Late 70's. Probably had a 400 in it I would guess. But what's sitting on the other side is kind of neat to see. Now that's really a shame because the engine is missing out of here and you can tell with the badge, it said some kind of a diesel in it. Would have been very awesome to have seen what they actually put in here, but old truck's been used for parts. Now I tell you one thing, I've been around this junkyard numerous times whenever I was a little kid helping my dad pull parts off of vehicles, and I distinctly remember this truck sitting next to the fence line. But one thing that I did not realize when I was a little kid is the fact this old Chevy is actually full-wheel drive. That definitely threw me for a loop whenever I seen this just a few minutes ago. This is an old 60, I would guess this is a 63 to 65 Chevy pickup, or Chevy two-ton truck. But you can see, this thing is full-wheel drive. I didn't remember that at all. But you can see how neat this old truck is. Somebody just kind of set the wrecker bed on there. It does not have any kind of a hub up front. So I'm not really sure what the deal with that is. This front axle that's in this truck actually looks bigger than the one that's in my F7 or F600 Ford. This old truck has the old boat anchor V6 in it. That looks like somebody's scabbed some parts off of the front of this. Maybe taking the grill out of it. I can't really get to a good spot to show this all on video. There's so much vegetation grown up. But I think I'm going to be asking the guy about this truck whenever I get back up to his shop. Looks like somebody's pulled the uh, drive shaft out of the front, but the transfer case is still in the truck. Let me go around to the driver's side. The door was off of here, and we'll look inside and see what it's got. Yeah, this old truck is rough. But you know how neat that would be to put this truck back together. Double framed. It's got a massive 
transfer case in there. Let me try to get a better picture, better video of that. Somebody just unbolted it. Doesn't look like anything's actually broken on the old truck. This is definitely something neat. Now hopefully you can hear all right. There's a tractor in the background, but here's the spot that's got the older stuff. You can see this old International, I guess it was a well drilling truck, tandem. There's also an old, I think, Diamond Rio cab back there. I'll check that out in a second, but I'll show you what I really came to look at. And that's this old white superpower dump truck that's sitting down here at the very bottom of this property. We'll take a walk over there if I don't fall and look and see this old truck, what its deal is. Look how awesome that patina is on this old truck. Now this is a tandem. I don't really know how big the bed is. I would guess 14 foot, 12 foot maybe. What's kind of surprising, at least to me, is the fact that this massive truck has just a gas engine in it. See the old fenders on this truck? Or, I mean, they're there. They're rusty, but it's there. Take a look inside. Hopefully there's no yellow jacket nest in here. Somebody was nice enough to lock this. Old guy parked it and locked it. The old transmission in there, probably a probably a four speed, I would guess. Let me put the uh, phone down for a minute and I will try my best to climb around to the other side and uh, get a view from there. Now I got in here the best I can. You can see the other side. There's a creek right behind me so I can't back up. Sorry, I can't get more of this in the video. In the screen, I should say. Such a shame that old hood's missing on there. It looks like the radiator's been completely destroyed. The radiator shroud as well. I believe this is a 1946. I could be wrong on the year. But I know that this truck has been sitting here for a long time. I remember this thing ever since I was a kid back here as well. Got the dump bed full of stuff. Might take another look and see what's in the back. All right, I climb up here. And what's awesome about this salvage yard, the guy that has this, I think is in his 80s now, and he's always built his own wreckers and stuff out here to use on his property. But I know he might not be using that, so I might ask him what he's wanting for it. That's what usually fits behind a pipeline truck where they drag pipe up onto the bed they use them on old tow trucks you can see that it's got a massive winch back there it's got the chain drive PTO may ask him how much he's wanting for that now this old international has seen better days as well somebody's already robbed the engine out of it cab on this truck actually looks like it's in pretty good shape as well you can see this incredibly massive setup they've got on the back of this thing now I think this is a well drilling truck it could be something totally different so if you have an idea drop that down in the comment section and tell me what you think this is but let's see the power plant I'm guessing that's a 6v92 Detroit diesel that's powering this rig back here you can see that all this stuff has been sitting for a long time uncovered so that huge belt there was a belt and a pulley that drove I guess from the PTO of the truck that's just incredible sad thing is to think about there's probably somebody out there probably not even watching this video that needs a part off of something like this yeah you can see that it's a uh, well drilling truck it's got the grips for the pipe on there. This boom would stand straight up. Yeah, there's even a chunk of the, the uh, pipe in there. But look at these massive links on here. I mean, I hate to have been a guy that when this was working to get my hand stuck in there. That would not have been good. Just an amazing piece of machinery. And even as much as they cost now, if you were to buy one new, I would almost bet you good money that it's not going to be built as strong as this truck is. Now like most guys watching these videos, 
I've been around a lot of heavy machinery and trucks and stuff like that practically all my life. I know there's a few years where they look similar, but I believe this is another white superpower. I know that they had a few different cab styles back in the day. There's no badging on this truck whatsoever. I didn't see any kind of a, a data plate at all. But one thing that's highly unusual that I've only seen one other time is the power plant in here. Now if you can tell, the engine is not straight up and down. I believe this is a 250 Cummins that they put in these trucks slanted, almost like a slant six for power. I've seen an old Dodge C900 one time that had a big plaque on top of the valve cover that said slanted for power. But I don't see that anywhere on this old truck. The body in this one is actually in a little bit better shape than the one that's a dump truck sitting over there. You can see that awesome air intake. I think that's, yeah, I think that's fiber, or not fiberglass. No, it might be fiberglass. I thought it was aluminum at first. That's a very neat setup. Even if a guy could never save this truck, that would awesome be awesome just to get that air cleaner cover. The old hood's folded up here. Like I said, there's no badging on this whatsoever. I should know what this is off the top of my head, but I don't. It's very hot as well, so let me try to show you around back of this old truck. You can see the old emblem in there. Got the Cummins back there. Got the Cummins right there on the front. This truck at one time, I guess, was turned into some kind of a power plant. Because you can see the frames bobbed off. And then they've got this scaffolding made up right along the underneath of it. And I guess that big pulley was on there. I'm not sure if it was with this well drilling truck as some kind of a secondary, I don't know, maybe a uh, water truck. Had a water tanker or something hooked up behind here. But it's just pretty amazing, the ingenuity on this. How they took this truck and turned it into something else. Got an old Ford back here as well. I think that's a 58. Yeah, it's a 58. It's got dual headlights. Yeah, 58. Now, how would that be for a quiet ride? I know they have a cover over them from the factory, but this old truck, you were practically sitting on top of that slanted Cummins in there. You can see the stick. It's got some kind of a splitter. I don't know if that's for a two-speed rear end or if this was a uh, another range to that. But I'll try to show the transmission as well. I don't think that is a Road Ranger or anything of that size. I know this transmission is fairly big. It may have an ID tag on it. I'm not really sure. But this old truck is definitely unusual. There's something very interesting to see. An old 50s Chevy COE sitting back here on the edge of the property. That poor old Chevy's seen better days. But anyhow, this old truck is really rough. Got an old straight six in it. Some kind of an international fuel truck. You can see the fuel tank on the back of this thing. I'll try to get around the other side, maybe show it if I can. It's been rolled over on its side. There's an old international truck sitting back over there. See if I can step through here, maybe. Has a big tank down there on the side. I've seen a lot of those like that. That usually means that it runs off of propane. That's really interesting to see as well. The old fuel tanker's turned over on its side, and there's a good drop-off on that side, so I can't really get around and get a better video of it. Here's another one I found. Old international truck sitting way back here. You can see, I guess, up there on the corner of the roof, something ran through this cab, a tree limb or something, but this old thing is definitely, I don't think there's a straight body panel on it. Real neat to see this stuff sitting around, though. It's a shame somebody didn't have a use for it. Just kind of strolling down this line of junk cars that are sitting here. I've never seen this old dump truck sitting on the place before. 
Look at this beautiful old Ford. I love this body style of truck. Let's see if I can get a good zoom out on this old truck. I love that body style. Boy, this thing's been picked over though. You can see where somebody, instead of just simply unbolting the uh, emblem off the front of the hood, they torched it out of there. Got a 292 V8 or a 312. I'm not really positive. I know they're practically identi uh, identical looking, so hard to tell without doing some research on it. F600, I guess. Sadly enough, you can see a tree dropped on this cab, and we step up here and see how bad it is. Oh yeah, yeah, the old cab on this truck, the roof of it at least is shot. Doors got some rust on them. Can't say it enough, I do love this body style of Ford truck. That would definitely be neat to uh, try to fix something like that up. I'll see if I can get around the other side. See if I can show you what that looks like. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video watching me search through that old salvage yard and uncover some of them old trucks that have been sitting there for quite a long time. Hopefully I can find some other salvage yards and maybe do some better exploration and maybe turn this into a series of some kind on my channel. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment or a question down below. Consider subscribing if this is the kind of content that you're into. And just a friendly reminder that it doesn't matter if you're working on your project in a garage or in your driveway. What matters is that you go out there, you do the job yourself, and you learn more about your project, whatever that project may be. Now that this video is over, how about you go outside and work on something? My name is Zane, and I'll catch you next time.